हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर दीपक गर्ग आई एम डायरेक्टर एंड हेड ऑर्थोपेडिक सर्जरी एट आन हेल्थ केयर रोहिणी न्यू डेली एंड टुडे वी विल डिस्कस लैटरल अप्रोच टू डिजिटल ह्यूमरस सो दिस अप्रोच इज मेनली यूज फॉर लैटरल कोंडाइल फ्रैक्चर्स वी कैन यूज इट फॉर रिलीज इन टेनिस एल्बो एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रिपेयर सम स्ट्रक्चर ऑन द लेटरल एस्पेक्ट ऑफ द एल्बो वी कैन यूज दिस अप्रोच let's start with the position we will keep the patient in supine position and arm will be lying across the chest and in this approach we will usually use a tourniquet so what are the surgical landmarks that we mark we will mark the lateral epicondyle and we will mark the lateral supracondylar ridge so th then we will mark the skin incision Skin incision is roughly six centimeter of the skin incision over the lateral supracondylar ridge. It can be a straight incision or a curved incision. Then uh, we will have the deep fascia in front of us. Then we will incise the deep fascia in line with the skin incision. Then we must know a little bit about the anatomy. So uh, this is a diagram showing the anatomy uh, rotating around this approach. so this is a brachialis muscle that we can see here uh, and uh, uh, we already know that the radial nerve runs uh, between the brachialis and the brachioradialis muscle so we can see the a uh, common extensus origin here and uh, posteriorly we can see the triceps muscle and uh, just above the triceps muscle we can see that the posterior cutaneous nerve of the forearm is running and between uh, just uh, anterior to the triceps we can see that there is a lateral intermuscular septum and we know that the radial nerve is coming through this lateral intermuscular septum and it will go to between the planes between brachialis and brachioradialis muscle so in this approach we will use the uh, interval between the brachioradialis and the triceps muscle so uh, we cannot extend this approach much distally because we may injure the radial nerve here uh we, we and uh, so let's look at the interval that we take so we will take the interval between the brachioradialis and the triceps muscle so once we take this interval we will retract the triceps muscle uh, on the posterior side and we will retract the brachialis or uh, and the brachioradialis muscle on the medial side and the anterior side so by this we will expose the periosteum we will cut the periosteum we will expose the bone and we can work in this interval thank you guys thank you very much uh, for more such videos uh, please like share and subscribe thank you very much